Um, let's take a look. That's my own opinion, folks. But this is the forecast we're sticking with. That is the headlines. Warming winds through Saturday, but still think Sunday rain is on the way. And uh, we're increasingly concerned that some of the storms will be damaging. Now, remember, when we use the term severe, that's what we mean. As far as if a storm is going to be severe, it could have either damaging hail and or damaging winds. Any storm can have heavy rain and always dangerous lightning. So please be careful, even if they're not technically called severe. So there's a general look. Maybe you just want to go catch some baseball. I heard about last night when I head on down Thursday. Nice out there, 70 degrees. Certainly they will be playing ball. Looks pretty good for the next couple of nights. Maybe you're not coming downtown elsewhere. How's it look? Well, we talked about this last night that once the breeze would start becoming easterly, some clouds and showers that have been impacting the Bahamas and South Florida would start to head in our direction. I want to emphasize they're heading in our direction it will not impact us tonight. And even tomorrow, just a couple isolated showers out there. So still a nice day. Just want to let you know that, that the overall pattern change is gradually beginning to develop. But again, nothing happening locally. You may see what looks like a bit of a flare up there. That was a big authorized burn. There goes the smoke off to the west and northwest, uh, but that burn has uh, now ended. Also want to remind you, if you're making some weekend plans, uh, the one river that is flooding because of the rains we had uh, a couple days ago continues to be the Santa Fe, and that's primarily impacting not homes, but it is uh, impacting some campgrounds. That's why I mentioned for your weekend plans out around uh, where the Santa Fe borders the Southern Union and then southern portions of Columbia County. White, might we have some flooding rains on Sunday? Well, they're going to be very heavy, although I don't think the rains will last more than a few days versus, or a few, I'm sorry, the rains we had, of course, lasted a few days. The rains this Sunday, I don't think will last more than a few hours. But again, that Sunday, it's Thursday, and this is when we tell you what the captains are telling us, and we're being told by the captains that fishing is red hot. You just about name the type of fish, but if they're pressed to name the top fish that's being caught right now, it's the sea trout. Notice surf temperature 66, river temperature sitting at 72 degrees. On the sand tomorrow going to 75, inland 80 degrees, and again, for the most part, this is all 95% of us will see, but there will be a few isolated showers, and notice the morning lows are moderating as well, lows of 53 to 62 degrees. So we warm through Saturday, then thunder storms on Sunday, cool Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday mornings, but the days I think will be beautiful, gradually warming as well. Specifically again for the weekend, Saturday is going to be the warm, windy day. By the afternoon, winds will be gusty to 20. That's a clue of the strong front on the way coming at us from the west, meaning if you have plans out toward Tallahassee or the Panhandle later Saturday, storms will hit you first. Then they're going to impact all of us on Sunday, and that bit of sun might just be early in the day in about 30 minutes. We'll talk about just when the storms might hit your particular part of the first coast of North Florida and Southeast Georgia. So again, another roller coaster warming up through the weekend, cool down, warm back up.